uh, getting your instruction in the dressing room, and just have a good, clean fight. Listen to my command. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. From any top fighter in the world, exceeded only by Gennady Golovkin. And that, of course, underlines the fact that power hides the power behind the jab, like you just mentioned. So that's definitely an asset. Behind the jab on a classic one two. Nib is quite aware that he's up against a guy who's regarded as right now on this fight. Because in no way, those who have seen him and followed him have been saying such glowing things. Some fighters wait a long time to learn. He has a reputation as a great jabber. So a couple of times, you know, he leaps with the left hook. Father taught him well. He's fundamentally sound. And that power he has behind those fundamentals. But he wants to punch when uh, the monster, when in no way, doesn't want him to punch. Like you said, Jim, saying all the right things. I just don't know if he can translate that physically. Tries to deliver the body. You know, he did a great job of blocking it with his left elbow. Yeah, this faints and faints and... Right, tries to punch with in a way to get his shot in there first. So Nieves. Is obviously you can get caught with a clean shot. Good shot from Nieves. Right hand by Nieves to the body, and he followed up with a looping right hand. In a way, it has been a little bit wide. He did take a knee in an amateur fight, so he has had one knockdown scored against him. Oh, now he goes downstairs and comes back up and fires the left hook to the body. Just left hand to the body from in a way. He's a 115-pounder, boy. He's I think at the end of the day, after won the first fight for Juan Francisco Estrada, it was having his feet flat on the canvas and maximizing the power in his punches. Always in position to punch, regardless of what his opponent tries to do. And I think he bothered Yevis with that hard right hand off the jab. Nieves trying to come back with some body shots, waiting, and he launches again. When one guy is coming up from below the flyweight division, and the other guy is coming down from 122 pounds, you know, the, 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 the guy coming up, is the question here is, can Inoue impose his overwhelming offense anyway? Back just a little bit. Left hand to the body. Placement rather than power. Now combinations. Oh, he thought it was the bell. In a way, he heard the 10-second warning clap and thought it was the bell. That saved Nieves right there. Ah. Round three of a schedule 12. You can see that Harold Letterman, unofficially, not surprisingly, how are you, in a way, winning the first two rounds? He knows Nieves was hurt in that last round, and he wants to test him to see how hurt he still is. You see why he's called the monster. When a guy has fast hands, a good jab, just did something you occasionally see Gennady Golovkin do. He saw the target and it's right back from punches sometimes. He uses athletic ability to avoid punches and doesn't always use kind of classic technical defense. You think that'll be a problem against the next level? Uh, it remains to be seen. In a way, he's only 24 years old, so his reflexes are at their, their very height right now. In his early to mid-30s. He'll have to make those adjustments and modify his style. Of... Talking a lot about the power of Inouye, but as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, it's the jab that's separating Inouye from his opponent tonight and his opponents previous to this night. He has an Ike Corte-like jab. Very... It's a heavy jab, meaning he's, his weight comes out over his front foot when he throws it. Oh, and it sets up power shots like that, which are discouraging to Nieves. Well, you can happen toward the end of the last round, and you can see Nieves' confidence just go down a little bit. Sometimes the game plan can go out the window quick. All of a sudden, it's left. Yeah, excuse me, Jim. All getting hit heavy with heavy shots to the head and the body. He's always to be in the right position on his feet, and he throws when he wants to. He's a pick him tight puncher until he gets his guy hurt, and then he throws in combination. I like that. Opportunistic, Jim, as you said. This is just a brilliant round. This this was a one-sided. I mean, Nieves has got his hands held up high. Impressive about Inouye is who's not really doing anything glaringly wrong. The better one right now. Nieves is a tough kid, but he is taking a lot of punishment right yeah. now, and it's starting to sink in. Do you go technical, or do you, apply, or do you appeal to his heart? You... Week in one way for Nieves. He works at a PNC bank full-time uh, in Cleveland, and this week he was profiled in the Wall Street Journal, and the CEO of the banking company made clear that he's aware of the kid as his banking career goes forward, and he said, I'm never going to give up my day job. Well, Inouye, uh, anyway, it seemed to me 
took the first minute of this round off to allow Nieves to throw some punches and let his clock wind down a little bit. Yeah, I think that was by design. I don't know if Inoue was resting or if he was trying to lift the, the punishment from the previous round. I think he was trying to lure Nieves into an exchange where he wouldn't have to try to open Nieves' defense. He could just, you know, catch him with in an exchange. Oh, what a hook. Right? Box has him throwing more one jabs second, per round second. than any other top fighter in the sport. An average of 37 coming in. He's throwing 41 jabs per round here tonight. Wow. Years and some of them have been among uh, the, the sport's most famous duos, including, of course, Felix Trinidad. They either work extremely well or they implode right before us. It's one or the other. I, I think that's a great point. I think Inoue has to put Nevis away here in this round or next. If he can capture their imagination and really look devastating, make some water cooler buzz the next, you know, on Monday at work. And if he scores a knockout here pretty soon, maybe he can do that. But now in round five, it looks like Nevis is trying to find somewhere to hide in the ring, and he can't find it. Anyway, just keeps walking him down, gets him into position there where he can face him and lands a body shot one at authority. One or two more of those, he could end this fight, Jim. Right there, and here Inoue has him ready to go to the body. Yep, there it is. Oh, the fighter like okay. now right. yeah, Inoue. Oh, now why throw anything other than a left hook to the body if okay. you're Inoue? Exactly, Fights don't abandon over. the body right now. He'll protect the head, but the body can't move. Inoue stalking. There it is. Another body body shot with the left hook. That one hurt Nieves as well. Right back. But I literally don't think you should throw another punch other than a hook to the body. And there's another one. one and there's another one. Uh, Not with enough authority to change anything. Another left is. hook to the body. Inoue uh, listening to what Max Kellerman and Andre Ward say. Another left hook to the body. Another left hook to the body. In a way, trying to finish the fight with exactly the prescription offered by our expert commentators. Did punch in boxing. I don't care who you are, who you're Second. fighting, where you've been brought up. Learn to throw the left hook to the body. It will win you more fights than any other weapon. He's about to win by stoppage, but he's only throwing one hook at a time. In a way, he's been landing beautiful body shots all night. And here we see another left that lands right by the solar plex. Nieves hesitates and then decides to take a knee. Oscar De La Hoya, Arturo Gatti against Leonard Doreen. How many times have you seen it? Andre Ward against Sergey Kovalev. Beneath the waist, the will goes away, the knockout comes. He has wounded prey in front of him, so he's going to continue to throw that left hook to the body, and it's a damaging, damaging thing to do. Like, how, why does he need to keep taking those? A little bit of inexperience from Inoue, only having 13 fights. A good right hand right there from Inoue hiding the fact that he wants to throw that left to the body. So Nieves has enough experience where he can guard against that shot. He's got to switch it up, throw a right to the body. Maybe That's what he did. He threw the right to the body. And there's, well, Nieves, Nieves looked at him like, wait a minute, you're allowed to do that another left hook to the body. Listen to the sound when those left-hand body shots land. That is a thud. You can hear that all over the arena here at the Stub Hub Center. I mean, I, I just think that's enough. I, I know he's not dazed in a way like he's a, but why does he need to keep taking this punishment over and over and over the sledgehammer left to the body Nevis is keeping that right hand glued to his side right there that's why you got to switch it up if you want that shot you got to go away with the chance to put on a show now in a way is doing so i know i'm a star you're going to see big things from me in the ring come to me come to me i'm ready for the knockout right now the referee has to get keep a close look on the Evans in a minute he Nieves came in with a record of 17-1-2. His first loss in the last fight was a decision with which he disagreed. Right, right, he is right, getting right, hammered here right. by a superior right. talent. Okay. Still in the fight, but if you know what you're looking at, he's had enough, and it's only going to get worse as this fight progresses. Big right, right hand, hand to the body. From in a way right what a vicious shot. Did, did Nieves need the last 50 punches that landed? The nose is bleeding now, and who knows what's going on internally in his rib cage. Another left to the body to finish the round. And Nieves staggers back to his corner, where trainer Joseph Delguide has a decision to make. And he has made the decision. Is the end of round six, ruled by the referee, a KO.
the winner and still undefeated and still the reigning and defending WBO super flyweight champion of the world, Naoya Monster Inno! <laughs>